guys, it's another amazing episode with food tasting. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you for coming to another episode of Food Tasting with Tay Tay. So, oh God, that, that enthusiastic greeting was for my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, hey guys, welcome to another episode of Food Tasting with Tay Tay. That's your own. Okay, so today is the battle of the small chops, pun intended. So small chops are tiny savory dishes that are served in Nigerian parties as appetizers, similar to udabs, you know, stuff like that. So small chops is a big thing in Nigeria right now. So what I did was I went on my Facebook page and asked my friends and my followers to tag their favorite small chop vendors. So what I did was I um, chose from the most tagged and the least tagged right most tagged and least tagged so i just wanted to do a comparison first and foremost my impression so um the two vendors are ibifia kitchen and nimi's confectionaries so when i texted them on facebook they were very welcoming their response time was very fast and then when it was um time to negotiate the pricing um, Nini's confectioneries first offered me like a price list of which the cheapest was 6,500 naira and then she charged me a thousand naira for delivery within Port Harcourt so when I mentioned that why would you charge me a thousand naira for delivery within Port Harcourt and a very short location now this location is so short that if you are going to use a tricycle or a keke you're just going to pay hundred naira to get there and she charged me a thousand naira for it and she told me that if I had my own delivery company, I should send them to her. But this is what the delivery company charges. And honestly, I felt like that was quite lazy and very unthoughtful for a vendor because you try to give your client the best experience possible. So when you tell your client, go ahead and find um, your own rider if you please. And when you are too, probably too lazy to have a conversation with the delivery companies, hey, I um. I send out orders a lot, so please, this is the flat rate. I have a business too. I have one whose flat rate of delivery is 500 naira anywhere in Port Harcourt and another 700 naira anywhere in Port Harcourt. So I don't see why for a box of small chops this tiny, you charge me a thousand naira for delivery. That said, I also contacted Ibifia Kitchen, which was almost the same location. In fact, the same location with Nini's confectioners, the same access. And of course, I was charged only 500 Naira for delivery. So it's a big thumbs down for Nini's cakes and confectioners for their delivery pattern and their approach to that entire thing. I didn't feel good about it. Nini says it was the delivery company and the um, delivery company is K-Logistics. So K-Logistics, if it is in your plan or in your pricing to charge a thousand naira in Port Harcourt, I think that's very unfair if that's what you did. And um, the location, I think you should charge according to location. You can't charge me from Akpajo to Odini Road for a thousand naira. It's just a bridge or two across. When somebody charges me from Woji, which is like other, the other side of Woji for 500 Naira. I mean, this is for Tarkot. So that said, let's get down to the nitty gritty of this battle of the chops. Oh. Ah, so guys, down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to start with Nini's cakes and confectioners. I like the pink box. It's nice that it was boxed, it's amazing, but the box is unbranded, so it's totally forgettable, and um, there's no personalization, it's just a box. But I do like the fact that the small chops were served in a box instead of a plate. So I'm going to unbox it now, and I like the fact that she um, sealed it everywhere. Okay, yeah, beautiful. Mmm. Okay. So let me get that totally out of the way great so here it says this box i don't know if you guys can see it can you see it this box is for six thousand five hundred naira 
and then um, if I'm going to quickly read the contents of it, um, Nini's Cakes and Confectionaries says um, for 6,500 naira, I was going to get five samosa, five spring roll, 10 puffs with 10 chicken kebabs. And I was really shocked when I opened this pack and I found only two chicken kebabs. This is one chicken kebab and this is another chicken kebab, not 10. This is a kebab, but I also realized that um, the, the stick had like five pieces of meat on it. So apparently this is what she meant when she said 10 chicken kebabs. Um, I'm going to open the next pack. This next pack is from Ibifie Kitchen. And um, I really like the way this is wrapped. This is 4,500 Naira only and delivery is 500 Naira. So I like the way it's wrapped, so I'm just going to quickly open it. Mm, it feels like a pattern. <laughs> okay, extra, extra wrapping. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna let this go on the door. Ooh, okay. For starters, if you know about Nigerian small chops, you know that there is samosa, spring roll, puff, and then the meat, basic. But once I opened Ibifier's um, pack, so I noticed these, like what are these? I've not seen this before. This is probably an Ibifier special. So I feel like digging into it, so I'm gonna taste this right away. Mmm, mm. <laughs> so, it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's chicken franks or sausages wrapped in butter. I like the twist. I like the fact that she didn't just um, put the chicken franks, she wrapped it in butter. Nice. And it's a, it's, it's a welcome surprise, you know. You're not expecting it and it just happens. I really like it when chefs own their meal. You know, do something different, create something different. Amaze us, tantalize us. Give us something decadent. Go out of the ordinary. And Vivian Kitchen has done that. And then she also has um, two of these customized sauces. I don't know. What am I going to I'm just going to dip this in and try it. Mmm. Oh, it smells so... It smells so fresh. It smells like peppers and it smells sweet at the same time. It's so savory. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. The, the flavors marry together very well. There's savory and there's some, um, I think there's onions in this. Yeah, there's a lot of onions in them. And I like the fact that the oils she used were not like so, um, you know, they doesn't have a bad aftertaste. I'm going to taste the samosa. Mm. I, I think it's... When I open it, I can see some carrots in. I can see onions and I can see the minced meat. So it's a tad dry and um, crumbly, you know, but... I like the fact that it's really full. Um, no distinct taste springs out at you. It's just normal, it's just regular. So there's no signature here, but I guess when we dip it in the sauce, mm, it makes all the difference. This sauce is amazing. So I'm going to taste the spring rolls next on its own. Mm. Mm. I think you use the same feeling with the spring roll for the spring roll um, with the samosa. You know, it's the same feeling as in this spring roll that is in this samosa. So in this one, it's not jumping at you. The meat was not, uh, was not like, the meat didn't grab all the flavors. So it's just there, you know, like, mm -mm. I'm not getting all the flavors from the meat. So, um, I think when you combine it with this sauce, this sauce is incredible. So I'm going to taste the, the favorite, everybody's party favorite, the puff. Oh. 
Okay. One thing I can say for this is it's not sugary. I don't know where small job bakers, pardon me, got the idea that they needed to fill this with sugar. It's not sugary, it's amazing. There's also no pepper in it. And then, but um, as puff goes, it's, it's that it's, I like I like the fact that it's soft. I also like the fact that it's not so oily. Like when you put this in your mouth, you don't it doesn't fill up with oil. So I like the oil balance. When you create a sauce like this, everybody expects something, everything to stand out, and every other thing is just okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, when we're waiting for it to beat the sauce, the sauce is everything. Like, I want to buy plenty of this sauce and eat everything with it. So, that's there for Ibife's kitchen. Oh, I haven't tasted a chicken yet. I like the fact that chicken is smoked, you know. Small chops, everybody just fries the chicken, but this looks oven baked, it looks smoked. And oh my god, I feel like she put some of this special sauce all over the chicken. So, I'm just gonna take a quick bite. Mmm. Mmm, garlic! Garlic! I love garlic. I love garlic. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Nice. Mmm. There's garlic in it. That's all I'm gonna say. I think it speaks for itself. Texture, amazing. Firm. But not too soft, just the way I like it. Well grilled to perfection, not oily. So it's kind of like almost a healthy small chop. Ninis, I'm going to tell you something honestly. When it comes to the way this smells, it smells amazing. It doesn't smell like your regular small chops that smells like fried oil. This smells really amazing. So I'm going to quickly start with um, the usual suspects. She just she doesn't have any inventive thing, you know. And all these vendors hand me this themselves. They didn't buy and refry. That's what they say. So, okay. Mm. When it comes to taste, there's definitely something different here. It has this rich umami taste that covers or overpowers your mouth. That's absolutely nice. I can see peppers in it so and I can see the onions so it's um juicier it's not dry and um, it's slightly a bit salty for my taste but it's amazing generally and then the spring roll could taste uh, mm. not the same feeling a different feeling this one just tastes like minced meat spiced with um stock cubes and um salt nothing distinct nothing different nothing extra the um, samosa definitely tastes better than spring roll this feels like the general ones you just buy and fry and then the puff i really like a samosa it's, it's super amazing mm. Funnily, I'm getting almost the same taste. Mm. This is slightly more sugary. I can get the sugar from this. And um, what I like about this puff is you're not getting the yeast taste at all. So she did a very good job mixing her yeast. It's also not super oily. It's, it's delicious, I like it. And then it has an aftertaste, the sugar just like kind of hangs at the back of your tongue, or at the back of your throat, but it's really nice. And then, <laughs> to our one kebab. It's boiled chicken, tossed in the sauce. And um, I'll go for a grilled chicken any day, but it smells so good. I hope it tastes as good. Um, so, yeah. She did a good job with, you know, letting the 
spice permeate all over the chicken but it's a really safe very safe choice anybody can eat it there is no signature so woo, 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 time for the bread <laughs> let's step one by one <laughs> spring roll dun 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 mmm who wins if it's just kitchen or Nini's cakes and confectioners, I'm going to be very honest. Mm. None. Oh. Yeah, they drew, like it's actually drew. Yeah. The spring roll is not doing it for me for either of the vendors. The samosa. Yay! Nini's. Nini's has more flavor. Nini's has more flavor. This was amazing. And then the puff. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> for the puff for me, um, if you are, you know, you don't like sugar, you are old school, you like street puff, this this is for you. Or if you're you have a sweeter, if you're sweet tooth, you you know, this is for you. But this is not sweet enough, it's not as sweet as a sweet tooth would like. So this is like now this for me is not a matter of preference you know but i prefer zero sugar so uh, i'm leaning towards this even if there is no um super signature to this you know it's like flour and yeast and everything although what's amazing about it is sometimes when you eat some puff puffs you you can taste the yeast but you don't get that in any of this these are very safe choices they are super safe this leans towards people with a sweeter tooth and this leans towards those who would prefer to avoid sugar so i think what ibifia did with this chops is to make it as healthy as possible she leaned a lot towards the health health thing with her grilled meat and everything so um as for the chicken <laughs> definitely ibifia's kitchen i like the grilled chicken i like the garlic i like the marinade and i like the special sauce she put on top and of course this has no comparison nothing to compare it with while nini's cakes and confectioneries did the basic choices she went the extra mile ibifia's kitchen went the extra mile with this and her special sauce this sauce is amazing it's important it is very important for a chef to own his or her meal that's what makes you stand apart when you are a food vendor creating your signature it's like sending a love letter to your clients it tells your clients that you put some thought into it and you sat down and you created something so i lean towards more of um, vendors who took out time to create a signature so for pricing if this kitchen is 4500 naira only and this was 6500 naira value for money um i feel like if you gave more value for money than Nini's cakes and confectionaries. All in all, it's amazing what these ladies, these vendors are doing. Patronize them, if you will. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for staying till this time. Until our next episode, if you want me to try somebody's meals, please comment below. I'm going to try it and I'm going to tell you honestly what I think. So guys, if you loved this video, I beg you to name up everything you hold there. Forgive me. No, don't forgive me. I'm going to always say the truth. But forgive me if you make. Share my video. Like my video. Subscribe to my channel. So I can keep bringing you more content. Thank you so much for staying with us. Bye.